Hello, welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we are going to be learning how to edit a component in SOLIDWORKS. So save your work now. So save this assembly because anything we do in this assembly, we won't be saving it. To edit any component, you can edit it two ways. The first way is you can right click on the component in your feature manager tree. In this example, we want to edit the boat. You can click on the drop down arrow, find the feature on the boat we want to edit. And if we want to edit the post extrude one in this example, you can click on the drop down. We can right click to edit the sketch or we can right click to edit the feature itself. So for this, we are going to edit the sketch. So let's click on edit sketch. So it takes us into the sketch mode in the assembly and we can click normal to. So we are normal to that sketch and let's change the dimension to something that is very apparent. Let's change it to 17. So we've made it bigger and you can tell in sketch mode because the rest of the components in your assembly it is going to be showing in wireframe. Also, you'll see that everything on that component will be listed as blue. And you will see the accept sketch and exit sketch symbol up here. And down here, it is also going to show you the edit component. So once you are satisfied with your sketch, accept it to accept that sketch and you need to select this again to exit out of the edit mode. So that is one way you edit your component. Another way is you can right click on the component itself on the screen. So I'll right click on the boat and I'll select edit part. And now it brings me back to that sketch mode again. I can exit out of it or you can right click on it and edit that feature directly. So now I'm editing the feature and let's change this dimension from 6 to 10, something that is very apparent and click OK. And to exit out again, click exit over here. And now you see our 10 is updating and bleeding into our part to update your assembly just click on the rebuild up here it's going to move those both up and that is how you edit a part and a component in your solidworks assembly thank you and i'll see you in the next lecture bye